Hey, thanks for swinging by my YouTube channel. Here's a clip from a sermon that I did before, and I believe that these few minutes are going to help grow you as a follower of Christ. And it says, as you received Christ Jesus, the Lord, so walk in him. What we are called to do is go on a walk in this Christian faith. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. We need to walk this out, and we need to walk it out with one another. Because, and let me tell you something. This, I'm not talking to you if you're just single. I'm not talking to you if you're just married. I'm talking to all of us that are ever in a relationship that we need to be walking it out with one another. That's why community is so important. And Chrissy's going to give you three reasons why it's important to walk with each other. Because some of you might be like, oh, no, it's not a big deal. I can just do this myself. I'll figure it out myself. Chrissy's got some reasons why it's not a good idea to do that. Yeah, if you get your notes out, right, we're writing these things out. These are teaching moments because... It, this this is what's going to happen. You're going to like get back to a relationship. It's going to get hard and you're going to be like, what did they say? We need to write it down. All right. These are teaching moments that we need to apply to our life. All right. So number one, we need to walk together with other people because it's safer. It's just safer. Think about the physical. If you're walking at nighttime and you're by yourself and you're, you know, I don't know why you'd be walking in a dark alley. Don't do that. But like, Instantly, if you have somebody else with you, you feel a little bit safer, right? Like no matter what you're doing, when my kids get like scared of something, as soon as one other person, even if it's Gwen, she's like afraid of the dark, if it's Vivi or Ellis, it doesn't matter. Sometimes we'll tell her because she doesn't want to go in the kitchen by herself to get water at nighttime. We're like, take Rockney, our dog. Just having somebody with you, it's safer, right? Here's what Ecclesiastes 4 9 through 10 says, two are better than one. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to pick them up. It's safer, okay? Number two, it's supportive. If you, um, you guys have, Maybe I heard this quote before, but this is what it says. It says, when you run alone, you can run fast. I read this. I was like, no, I can't. (laughs) I'm not a fast runner. (laughs) But when you run alone, you run fast. But when you run together, you run far. Isn't that true? Somebody's going to push you to go further, right? You can do it. You can do it. It's just a little bit further, right? Right? It's not a 50-yard dash, just like Pastor Joan was saying. This life, especially this Christian walk, it is a lifelong journey with Jesus. And we need all the support that we can get from our friends around us, right? Hey, real quick, I want to interrupt. Do you remember that reel that you sent me out of the 1001 uh, about the, the guy who was talking about how important it is to reach your goals or what God has for you? By choosing, like having the right spouse next to you? Oh, yeah, this is so good. This is for singles, especially because you haven't chosen a spouse yet. But if you are married, be this spouse. Okay, this was so good. A man, a successful man, right, doing whatever he does, they can determine whether he's going to go far in his career, whatever he's doing, whether it's his business or whatever. They can tell how far he's going to go by the wife he has. Because you're, if you're a wife in here or um, you want to be one day, your support of your husband or lack of will determine how far he goes. You're, you cheering him on. He tells me all the time, he's like, when I get done preaching a message or, you know, speaking or whatever, he's like, 10 people could tell me that that was a good message. But I can tell when he comes off stage, and he, you could just tell, you like, my opinion outweighs everyone in this room. Everyone. And so if you are a wife or want to be, your voice matters. If you tear down your husband... If you tell him how terrible of a a person he is or you suck at this or you never, you're right. You're right. You're creating the man that you're talking about. You're creating it. And if you are his biggest cheerleader, if you're his biggest cheerleader, 
It might not be true 100% of the time. Men, can you attest to this? Yes. (laughs) Antonio can. Your wife's and kids, she can't hear you, Antonio. That's why he tried being so loud. (laughs) If you cheer him on, even in the midst of his failures, you're right. That's the man he is. And so... You, we need to be supportive. And that goes both ways. Please hear me. Like men, that it, you're going to, you know, that's for your wives as well. You're going to create the very thing that you speak out. Anything else? That's it. Good. All right. I'm going to share 1 Corinthians 9.24. It says, do you not know that in a race all runners run? No. Oh, I hate running. <laughs> this is how I read the Bible. I'm like, why? Um, but only one receives the prize. Only one. So run that you may obtain it. And that's why it's so important to have support. When you become a, a part of a community of relationships, and I've talked about this before. I think it was before. It was all for All in Team Night. If you guys haven't come to All in Team Night, it's the first Thursday of every month. It's so fun. Who was at the last one? It was so fun. We're just eating and building relationships and just there's like a short teaching, but it's super fun. But I talked about, are you trying to clap, Jack? What are you doing over there? But, oh, yeah, we did play Ninja. But um, where was I going with that? Oh, you're investing in your future. When you become a part of a community, especially of believers, you are investing in your future self. Did you know that? You are depositing and depositing and depositing and depositing. Because when life gets hard, If you slip in and slip out, guess who's not going to call you? The relationships you didn't build. Girl dropping bombs today. (laughs) We are here to support one another, but you have to participate. Cool? I'm not going to beat a dead horse. So speaking to me, y'all, I'm going to the altar. Oh, my gosh. Number three, number three, number three, number three. It's smarter. It is smarter to be in community with each other. Um, there's a, uh, in Proverbs 28, 26, it says, whoever trusts in his own mind is a fool. The counsel of multitude is so important. We get all up in our feelings, all up in our feelings. I do it all the time and I need somebody to set me straight. When we talk about our care acronym, that's part of the A, the accountability I need to be held accountable. Like, and then it depends on what time of the month it is. Like, how crazy I am. (laughs) Like, I need somebody to help me. (laughs) Okay? And so it's just smarter to be in community. Ephesians 4.16 says this. As each part does its own special work, it helps the other parts grow. So that the whole body is healthy and growing um, and full of love. And so you have got to have other people's, other people's, other people in your life to help you grow. Thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel. If this impacted you, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I want to make sure you are getting everything we're putting out to help you grow as a follower of Christ.